All right, guys, so hopefully you guys have already seen the unboxing of the cards that we're going to be showing today, and now we're going to jump into the review section of that. It's May 10th, Elric Ferris here on Motherboards.org, and today is the release of the new NVIDIA GTX 670. That's right. You guys have been waiting for it, and now it's hitting the market. Now, the reference sample, that card's going to be coming to market at about $399. If you guys want to see the full review of that, check it out at www.motherboards.org. Here in video land, we're going to be bringing you two cards today. We're going to be bringing you the Zotec Amp, and we're going to be bringing you guys the Gigabyte WinForce card. The one we're going to look at first, that is the new Zotec Amp GeForce GTX 670. Now this thing features aftermarket cooling, it comes overclocking, and just has a lot of different stuff than your standard reference base card. So let's jump in and let's take a look at the features, what the card looks like, and then the performance, and see if this card's worth your money. <laughs> So let's talk about some of the basic features that every GeForce GTX 670 is going to have off the bat. Every card is going to have four graphics processing clusters, seven SMXs, 1,344 CUDA cores, 112 texture units, and 32 ROP units. This is the same on every single solitary card. Now the memory on the cards is all the same. Every card features two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. We also see four 64-bit memory controllers equaling a 256-bit memory controller the same as the GTX 680. Now, the memory is clock different and so is the base clock speeds on this card. The reference card comes in with a base clock of 915 megahertz, where the base clock of this card is 1098. The boost clock on a reference card is 980 megahertz, where the boost clock on this card is 1176 megahertz. That's actually quite a difference. Now, as far as the memory clocks go, here's where things start getting a little interesting. The default memory clock speed on the reference card is 6,008 megahertz. The memory clock on the Zotac is 6,608 megahertz, which translates into a much better memory bandwidth. The memory bandwidth on the reference card is 192.2 gigabytes a second, while the memory bandwidth on the Zotac is 211.5 gigabytes a second, meaning much faster speeds. Now, as far as power requirement goes, we know these cards use a dual 6-pin power connector and they have a recommended 500-watt power supply that you need to run the card. The thermal threshold on the card is 98 Celsius and the total TDP of the card is supposed to be 170 watts. Everybody also knows this card is based off the new 28 nanometer process. It has a transistor count of 3.54 billion. This is going to be the same across all cards. And from what we've seen so far, all the cards have the same rear I.O. Featuring two dual-link DVI connections, one HDMI, and one display port. Another really great feature is the new adaptive V-Sync technology. What this does, if your game is playing and it drops below the 60 frames per second mark, it just turns it off and then turns it back on so that you don't see any ripping and tearing in the game. This should actually help a lot when we're configuring in an SLI configuration as well. So now that we've seen all the features of this new GTX 670 Zotec Amp Edition, let's take a look first at the test system. And now let's jump in and actually see the performance and how this card competes with its competitors. So there you folks have it. We saw all the features, 
We've seen the performance, and you guys can see that this card is pretty damn cool. It looks good. It runs cool. I saw 70 Celsius. That's at top under full load. I have to run the card for hours on end. The card doesn't run that loud at all. It's coming to market at about $429. It's going to be just slightly expensive than the reference base card. Now, if you guys want a card that looks really cool, this card fits that bill. It's also faster than the 7950 from AMD, sits slightly slower than the 7970. One thing that's truly amazing about this card though is, is that both the GTX 570 and the GTX 580, this card completely blows those cards out of the water and that's very surprising. So from out of the gate cards, I have to say this new Zotec Amp Edition is a very good looking card, it runs cool, it's priced well, Hey, it's Nedder's Choice here on Motherboards.org. Thanks for watching. I'm back to gaming.